In the fall of 2009, a Delta II rocket launched off Florida's east coast carrying two Missile Defense Agency Space Tracking and Surveillance System, or STSS, demonstration satellites. Designed to last four years, the STSS satellites operated for over 12 years, demonstrating birth-to-death ballistic missile tracking and missile defense system fire control quality data as a testbed to study new ways to improve ballistic missile tracking from space. Today, STSS data informs the development of future missile defense sensor capabilities, such as those on board the Hypersonic and Ballistic Tracking Space Sensor, or HBTSS. How do ballistic missiles differ from hypersonic missile threats? Ballistic missiles fly a predictable path and spend most of the time in space. Hypersonic glide vehicles, or HGVs, which can fly in excess of 3,800 miles per hour, can change direction and altitude and vary their speed in flight within the atmosphere, posing a severe challenge to today's missile defense system. Powerful radars on Earth can view in-flight objects only as far as the horizon allows and only within specific corridors. A global constellation of HBTSS tracking satellites will ensure continuous access to missile threats from launch to re-entry, while providing fire control tracking to the missile defense system. Since tracking satellites offer a global presence and persistence, they can augment Earth-based radars and fill viewing gaps to provide coverage from missile launch to termination of flight. The two HBTSS prototype space vehicles will work in tandem with radars based on land and at sea, and recently deployed Space Force tracking satellites to demonstrate and study how they can track hypersonic threats and provide targeting data for intercept. This demonstration will inform the future proliferated warfighter space architecture, PWSA, for the missile warning, tracking, defense mission. Following these successful demonstrations, HBTSS will be part of a critical constellation of space sensors proliferated and operated by the Space Force. It will provide increased capability to track, target, and intercept hypersonic threats. As missile threats evolve, the Missile Defense Agency will continue leading efforts to improve the nation's defense capabilities.